Hi everyone, so today we're going to do um, a late 1940s, 1950s type look. Um, I think sort of Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe time, crossed with Dita Von Teese, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to do hair and makeup really, really quick. Um, well, as quick as it's possible to do. First thing to do, put a side parting in your hair. So what you need is a tail comb or a brush with a tail on it. <laughs> and you're just going to just take the very edge of that. So I don't know if you saw that. You see the spiky bit? Just draw a line in your hair. And flip that across. Then once you put your side parting in, you're going to use some heated rollers. These you can get for about, hmm, I think about 20 quid from Boots. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking sections. Brush it upwards before you put the roller in. Because the tighter you get this roller to the top of the head, the more root lift you're going to get, and the more height, and the more height, the more this look is going to work. <coughs> Leave them in your hair until they cool down. Um, they take about 20 minutes to heat up properly. What I should tell you about putting your rollers in is that you roll them under. So, if I take this one out, I'll show you. You see how quick that's taken already. So you take the piece of hair, and you roll the hair underneath. Yeah? Rather than the other way. And also, when you're doing that, spray. Spray each bit of hair before you roll it. I'm not going to because I'm not going anywhere. Being nearly nine months pregnant, um, my social life's not at its best. Probably 20 Studio Tech from MAC really simple look because if you think about the period of time when when this look came into being there was a war or the war was just finishing so makeup was not readily available most of these girls had really was um, black eyeliner and a red lipstick and that really is as simple as it gets we're gonna glam it up a little bit more I'm using um, Estee Lauder signature spiced peach this, these are the colours. It's a quad. Can you see those? So you've got um, you've got a peachy colour at the top here, peachy one there, and next to it we've got um, an iridescent, an iridescent um, mushroomy type colour, and then a taupe, and then a, a dark taupey brown. We are going to use the palest colour to start with. And I'm using a number five Maggie Hunt brush just to put that on. I'm really loading the brush up. put that all over the lid and then I'm just gently rubbing over it with my finger to make sure that it's all blended in. Using a um, 239 brush from MAC, I'm going to use the medium brown now. I'm just going to take that in the socket slightly. Hopefully you can see I bring that very softly across, but not all the way down in 
into the socket line and I'm lifting it slightly so it's in the socket but it's also blended slightly above the socket. Now you'll see if you have quite blue eyes, um, these kind of colours really bring out the blues in the eyes because they're quite, or well, the brown is quite warm. So it's the opposite to blue. Blue is obviously a cold colour. This brown is quite warm. So they complement each other. It's most definitely not true that if you have blue eyes, wear a blue eyeshadow and your eyes will look bluer. Um, in fact, they'll look less blue. Quite an important part of this look is the eyebrows. The eyebrows are quite arched, quite angular. Um, I'm going to use um, a Shure Mura pencil in um, Hard Formula 9 and the colour is Seal Brown. And then I'm just going to brush this colour through. So the most important thing with this look really is the eyeliner. I am using um, Liquid Last Eyeliner by MAC. This stuff does not move so you, you really do need to practice with it because you want to get it right the first time. It is waterproof which is why I'm using it because you don't want to go out halfway through the night find your eyeliner has disappeared. So the best way to do your eyeliner, really, is to have a little hand mirror, oh hello, and lift your head up and look down into the mirror. That way you're less likely to poke yourself in the eye and make yourself blink, and you're less likely to open your eye wide enough that you get what we call a transfer up here. Now the thing with this eyeliner is it does take a few minutes to dry, so if you are to look up or to lift your head or to put your head down and look straight ahead, you're going to get a transfer mark. And if you get a transfer mark with this liquid eyeliner, you can't get it off. Um, that's the joys of having waterproof eyeliner. <laughs> Once your eyeliner's dried, we're just going to curl those eyelashes a little. see that when I put my mascara on, I put the wand really close to the root and rock it. That's just to make sure that I get plenty of black really close to that root. Because if you don't do that, what you're going to find is that you, you're, there's a gap of powdery eyelashes between where your eyeliner is and where your mascara lashes are. 